Okay. Uh, we started our series on creating uh, more opportunities in the uh, tourism sector, but one key area that we haven't spoken about is the travel and tour industry. And uh, Dancy Travel and Tours is one of the uh, primary sector players, a major one in that industry, but how are they contributing to developing the sector? Joining us now is Gideon Asari, Managing Director of the group. Thank you, sir, for spending some time with us. First of all, it's been a challenging um, number of years, uh, dating back to 2019, uh, but would you say that the travel and tour industry is picking up, first of all? It's really, really picking up. Um, uh, with the, after COVID, uh, people are beginning to travel more. Um, the travel pattern has changed a bit. Some are spending more time than they used to, used to do. There is so much demand on travel services at this stage. I see. Uh, but then there is the notion that what we seem to be promoting much more is the tour out of Ghana. How about in-country? What, what, what do you have to say about that status? I, I, I think from my end, we, we think we are even doing more inbound, uh, more domestic travels than we used to. Um, because one thing the COVID taught us is to push more for Ghanaians within the country to move around. So we, we, we are seeing more people, more Ghanaians traveling within Ghana more than they used to do in the COVID era. So the notion might not necessarily reflect what the reality is. I see, but, but then if there's a role for you to play as um, travel and tour agencies, how crucial is that to uh, the development of our tourism industry? The, the, so the travel and tour agencies role is very crucial because the, all the other players um, make the product available uh, or they, they, they have their scattered services. So we kind of bring the, those services together and make it consumable. So you, you, you might have heard of um, a very beautiful hotel in the western region or um, in the northern region, but how do you get there? You need the transport, you need some few activities, you need a guide, you need so the travel and tour agencies are the ones who bring all the components, the transport, the flights, the, the meals, the hotel. We bring it together and we make it easy for the consumer to, to be able to consume it in a way. So our role is very critical. We play a central role in the tourism drive. And with, with um, what we currently see, we, we've seen that when we put these packages together, it's um, a, a typical Ghanaian traveler find it a bit easy to kind of know whether you can afford it. And also you feel that if, especially if you are among a group, you feel safe and be able to um, purchase the package. So we, we, we are drivers of the tourism, we, we are in the middle, we play a central role to ensure all the other sectors of the tourism come uh, to play. The, the figures appear to be significant in terms of the uh, forex inflows as a result of tourism activities, but experts say uh, we could be doing far more, exceeding far more the targets that, uh, of course, the tourism ministry appears to set, to us set for itself. Uh, what are the challenges hindering that, the realization of the full potential in the tourism space? Yeah, so there are challenges. One of the key challenges, uh, or the challenges, it depends on the type of tourism we are discussing. Mm. So if we take inbound um, tourism, that is those outside coming to Ghana, the, one of the key challenges is visa. So visa to Ghana is a bit difficult to assess compared to um, other countries. So remember, a tourist always have choices, OK? if if you are coming for Ghana for a UN conference, you have no choice. You just have to come. But if you are coming to Ghana for, for tourism purpose and the, you are struggling to get a visa, you might as well go to Kenya and get a, a visa on arrival or visa e-visa or something. So our visa regime is still not up to the tax. So it's one key challenge that we, we have with the inbound tourism. Um, the, the, the other um, challenge with the inbound tourism has to do also with the, the packaging. So a lot of people out there do not really know exactly what they enjoy when they come to Ghana. 
Uh, they might have seen scattered images of the slave dungeon, the other uh, tourist attractions, but there are not enough products that have been put together to make it attractive for them to, to come. So that's one, one challenge. When it comes to the domestic, like people within Ghana moving around, I think one key challenge people talk about is the cost. Yes, yeah, so, and these costs arise from the fact that uh, most of the tourism, most of the things that services that we have to put together, uh, we have not really looked at the distribution network of the tourism in Ghana. So it is, if you want to go to Kakum National Park, and you pour down to travels, perhaps I may have to charge you uh, the cost of a car, a guide, and uh, when I put it all together, you feel it's very expensive. But if there is like um, a fifth departure from Accra Mall every Friday, and you can just buy a seat and join a group to, to Kakum, then you see that it's easy for people to consume the product because at the filling station, at the supermarket, everywhere you can just buy a seat. You, you get it. So the distribution of the tour, the packaging, has not really been looked at uh, professionally and uh, universally in the, in the country. And okay. until we do that, we're still describing with costs. And, yeah. and here's the thing, that many of the agencies such as yours, in fact, your story is quite unique. You've been in existence for the past 10 years. Do, do you see a typical change in the sector and uh, that, that gives you hope that there are opportunities going forward of, of renewed sense of taking advantage and leveraging on, on the opportunities in the tourism sector? Yes, yes, we, we, we see massive changes um, um, from the past 10 years when we, we started carving a route of um, I mean, innovating certain products for the tourism industry. So, um, for instance, um, every, almost every month we have groups moving left and right. So people are easy, people easily get to buy some of these uh, domestic products. We have like Eastern Escape, where you go to the Eastern region, you have um, Jewel of the West, that takes you to the Western region, you have uh, the Northern, Discover Northern. So by breaking the packages into this, and also encouraging other travel agencies to do same. So we will have a lot of agencies that look at what we do and also come out with packages. And that is how we cause change in the market. So we, we, we see this such opportunity as, uh, as a good way to make impact in the tourism space. Mm. Uh, any message for, I mean, potential tourists, those who are viewing us outside of Ghana, is there any message for them? And for those who also want to do some partnership with you, do some uh, travel and tour, around the sub-region, out of the region. What, what's the message from Andansi Travel? Um, we, we just want them to know that we bring 10 years of experience into, the, into, into, into making sure their travel is, is well managed. So for those outside who are looking for it to where to go in this summer, if you have not yet settled on any destination, Ghana is your go-to. Um, if you come this summer, there's so much happening. Um, for instance, Adansi has lined up a lot of uh, trips um, to various parts of the country. So you might not be spending too much because you can join some group of Ghanaians who are exploring the Volta or exploring the North or the Western, and you just pay for a seat and you join them. You make networking, you make friends, and then you also enjoy what the country has to offer. Mm. So, um, we invite everybody to come on board and taste and feel Ghana and see what the tourism potential we have. Okay, we hope to honor that invitation. Gideon Asari, Managing Director at Ansi Travels, thank you for joining us. <laughs>